What's up, guys, and welcome to what might just be the final 4K and Blu-ray update video on this channel, certainly for a long time. Uh, why is that? Well, it's completely out of my control. Uh, there's a lot of things that factor into this. Um, the new releases that are coming to, to, to you know, to 4K and Blu-ray, they're scarce. They're, they're limited, um, and nothing, you know, that I have any interest in, in getting or adding to my collection. Um, there are a few things coming out, but from the month of January, the month of February, the month of March, there might be only up to 10 films total that I'll be getting. Uh... January 2nd is, uh, there is a slated release date for The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes 4K Steelbook from Walmart. I don't know if that is actually coming out that day. Seems a little weird because then the actual 4K and Blu-ray standard releases, I believe, in February. So I'm not too sure if that's actually happening. But if it does, it's on the list. What else is coming in January? We have Thanksgiving and Silent Night coming later in the month. That's three films right there. February, uh, gee, I I can't think off the top of my head. I, I know there might be one or two things floating around in there that's coming. But um, as of now, can't think of anything off the top of my head. And in March, you get three big ones. You get The Abyss, True Lies, and Aliens coming to 4K. So I'm not going to wait until mid-March to do a 4K update video with, with, with less than 10 movies to showcase. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to make you guys wait. And, you know, I like to keep them stacked. And then once I do this video, then I put them on the shelf. Um, so things are being a little different now. Uh, thinking that we'll go back to how we used to do it a long time ago. Back, I would say, 2013, 14 you know, 15, that whole era, where I was doing unboxings of these movies. So that's where I think we're headed, uh, which is okay. We have the unboxing and update playlist uh, that all these videos go in. So that's where it's all going to be headed. So this stuff is basically just from the month of December. I have nothing else coming. There's nothing next week I'm going to be getting. Um... And we have a, a, a handful of titles here. Really not a ton of stuff, but um, this is it. So it's bittersweet, but the final set of 4Ks, there's not a single Blu-ray in sight. A couple steelbooks, a couple standard releases, and all new release uh, from, from the month of December. Uh, starting with this Avatar 4K steelbook that released two days ago. Depending on when you're watching this, Tuesday the 20, was it the 21st? Something like that. Um, I'm going to post a picture now. If you see that, uh, you know, this is why that this update video, you know, isn't here on Tuesday. I wanted to post it on Tuesday, but gosh darn it, I couldn't because I had to wait until today to go and replace the damn thing because that's how it re arrived in the mail to me. My final Best Buy pre-order steelbook arrived like that, and it was pitiful. So I went, there was one left in the store. It's in good condition. You open it up, and hey, it actually stays together. You know, it's actually a really good condition steelbook. So Avatar. The first release that came out a couple months ago, I don't think had Dolby Vision. This disc does say Dolby Vision Atmos. So that is exciting. Um, yeah, so Avatar and 4K. Next up, uh, a great steelbook. This is really um, an awesome steelbook, which I'm happy I got. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Uh, the movie's okay. It's not great. It's okay. It's a little baby fight at points. Um, I hope in the next film they age the turtles up a little bit. They didn't seem like teenage. They seem like 
before teenage, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, I don't think a lot of them. They just they just didn't feel very mature. They didn't, they didn't feel teenage. They felt lower than teenage. So um, that's my quick little thoughts on that. But um, great steel book, you know, very nice. And the the picture of this, including with the avatar as well, um, is is spectacular. And I don't know if that lends itself to the animation style of the film, but regardless, whatever they decided to do. Um, it looks fantastic. And I have a top 10 4K Blu-rays of the year list coming out in the next few days where you might see this in there. That is how good of a, of a release this is. Picture, sound, Paramount did a great job. Steelbook also is very good. Next up is a standard 4K of Five Nights at Freddy's. This came out at the end of October on Pe uh, Peacock. Also in theaters, took less than two months for this to hit to hit 4K. Um, the movie's uh, it's okay. It's an okay film. I like it. I like the artwork here. You know, it's very standard. Embossing on the, the cover. And if you've been watching my update videos, you might be wondering well, why is the slipcover still on this. I decided to keep it on for the video. Um, and since these things are going to get pretty scarce, uh, why not showcase it? Um, but the slipcovers, they go in storage. So, yeah. But, but hey, Five Nights at Freddy's. I think this is a good presentation. But I don't know if it's just me when I watch this. But I think the Peacock stream looks better. The dark scenes, anyway. I don't know. It's an okay release, but not a great one. But it's 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 an also an okay film, but not a great one. Another film that I haven't watched yet, but you know, have to do that because of the remake coming out that's getting a lot of awards attention. This is Steven Spielberg's original film, The Color Purple. Um which I haven't seen. You know, Steven Spielberg, my favorite director. And, you know, he, he did this 1985 a cinematic masterpiece. It's about life, love, and us. Um, can't wait uh, to watch this for the first time on 4K. And I'm excited for the new one as well, um, for all the, the hype and buzz you're hearing about it. I just hear that this is a great story, and I'm excited to watch it, uh, especially on 4K. So, yeah, that's the color purple. Two titles left, guys. This is all we got. Two titles left. The next one is a standard 4K of Titanic. No Steelbook released for this, which was kind of shocking. It was over a $100 box set they put out for it. But, um, yeah, I had this pre-ordered through Best Buy. And then they canceled my pre-order, saying that it was unavailable. And it didn't go back in stock till like, a week later. So... I just ordered it on Walmart and that got to me within like two days. So yeah, Walmart pulled through Titanic with, with a great slip. I mean, this is the original poster art. And the thing I love about this 4k Blu-ray is they went back to the original source. You put this movie on, you see the, the, the original Paramount logo. If you watch the Blu-ray that came out in 2012, I believe it was, um, that had the Paramount hundredth anniversary logo. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this goes back to that original Paramount logo. Film grain is intact. The picture and sound is incredible. For everything you're hearing about how James Cameron puts out 4Ks, this one is truly a winner uh, from a picture and sound standpoint. And yeah, it's great. Love Titanic. Top top 20 movie for me probably who knows maybe even top 10 i think it's a great film titanic and avatar are like james cameron's best movies look i haven't seen all of his films yet so i can't even say that really but from what i've seen titanic great film james horner great score and the final title is a film that i like a lot and i find myself wanting to watch it a lot but it has its glaring problems. And that is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, 
look, I give this movie a solid four out of five. I think it's well made. I think it's entertaining. Um, I think Harrison Ford is great. John Williams' score is fantastic. Hopefully he gets another Oscar nomination for this, Best Original Score. Um, it's always nice to see John Williams' name being recognized because he's the best composer out there. Um, but the film has problems. I mean, I think I think instead of Phoebe Waller-Bridge, you should have had him going around on this adventure with like Short Round and Sala. I think those three would have been great as the leads of as the co-leads of the film. You know, what if you've not seen the film, minor spoilers, but if you know what they did to Shia LaBeouf's character in this, I think have that be the opening of this movie. Instead of having Toby Jones, and you can still have the whole Dial of Destiny story plot line, that's fine, but instead of Toby Jones, let it be Shia LaBeouf. Kill him off in the opening of the film as a cold open, and then we go into how he is now, meets up again with Short Round, Sala, and then they go on this adventure to find the dial because Mad Mickelson is looking for it too. So I just think that would have been a better film. But from what we got, I liked it. I like Phoebe Waller-Bridge's performance, but, you know, it's it's not a great movie. Indiana Jones series is like my second favorite movie series of all time. Raiders of the Lost Ark is one of my favorite movies. Um, so this isn't, like, bad. Crystal Skull, I don't think it's a bad movie, but it's my least favorite Indiana Jones film. Um, this is my second favorite, or sorry, second to the bottom. You got the original trilogy, and then you got this, then Crystal Skull. Um, good movie, not a great one. It has its problems, and it's great on 4K. I think the picture and sound is great. Lucasfilm did a great job with this. Um, but that's it. Uh, as we say goodbye to Indiana Jones, we say goodbye to the updates. Um, it's been, it's been fun. Hey, look, the next kind of 4k blu-ray video you'll be getting on the channel is the top 10 4k blu-rays of 2023 and then like i said if we get that hunger games film coming at the beginning of january i'll probably be doing an unboxing for it that i'll post on this channel instead of just doing update videos because i'm not going to have enough titles to to do and i'm not going to wait three months for for less than 10 movies to put in a video i'm just not going to do that um so yeah that's where we're at Guys, comment down below. Did you pick up any of these films? What's your thoughts on any of these films? Which are some of your favorite 4K Blu-rays of the year? Leave that down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for that future video that I mentioned. Also, it's award season. I'm trying to see what I can see digitally, all that kind of stuff. Nyad, got to watch that. We're, we're actually halfway through Maestro. Took a little break doing some stuff, so I recorded this in between. When's that review going to be up? Pretty soon. When's this video going to be up pretty soon? <laughs> so that stuff's coming. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingOfRises131. That's better for me. Thank you guys so much for watching what very well may be the last 4K and Blu-ray update video. And until next time, over and out.